To all of you, your excellencies, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, a very, very warm welcome to this first conference on the Caspian Corridor. I hope that we're going to be discussing not only the extraordinary developments in one of the fastest expanding economic regions of the world, but every bit as importantly, how we in the United Kingdom can grow our relationship with the countries of the Caspian, with Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan, who are, of course, all now very significant players in oil and gas, but as well with the Kyrgyzstan Republic, uh, Tajikistan, and Georgia, who are all becoming such key players in the region. In some, no one should doubt the growing depths and the breadth of the Azerbaijan Britain ties as demonstrated in this important conference and through the work of the Britain Azerbaijan Business Council. <coughs> the President of Azerbaijan is deeply committed to this bilateral relationship, and we at IBA could not more please that you all are here for us today. Again, thank you very much for joining us, and I wish all our conference all the best and interesting discussions. Thank you. We're pleased that the International Bank of Azerbaijan has agreed to join the City UK's Russia, CIS and Mongolia group. This conference brings together many countries, industries and sectors. And the common theme is that, is that a thriving commercial sector can promote higher standards of living, greater cooperation and better futures for the region and for those in the UK who want to be part of it. I hope this goes further than simply the commercials. I hope actually what it does is establish a much closer relationship between the UK and the Caspian Corridor. And we are, at City UK, we are committed to making that a reality. It seems to me absolutely vitally important that we build in, in a purposeful way, reconciling ourselves to the fact that this will require hard work, effort, and time into building a real human relationship with the region. And there is so much to learn. When I was um, in school, nobody talked about uh, the Caspian area. Uh, it is only because of the weather, for which I apologize, that people keep reflecting today that there is more water in the Caspian than can fill even the puddles in southwest Britain. But um, my point is that the knowledge base in this country on the Caspian is so far insufficient. And I think it's a collective duty for all of us here today to pursue this theme. And as Liz Simon said at the outset, let us hope that this is not a one-off. This should be a continuing process. We managed to attract a large number of foreign investors into the country and now the international businesses are very active in Azerbaijan. As a result of realization of these energy contracts, Azerbaijan has enjoyed high economic growth of the last years and became a focal point of the global energy market and gateway through which international investments reach the Caspian region and beyond. Our country is a strategic partner of the European Union in the field of energy, and it shows the importance of Azerbaijan for energy security in Europe. As you may know, Azerbaijan has implemented many major international projects, including Baku Tbilisi Jaykhan and Baku Tbilisi Erzurum, which created new effective rules for the transportation of energy resources of the Caspian Sea to the Western market. According to the World Bank, Azerbaijan was the fastest growing economy between 2007 and 2009. Along with the oil and gas sector, which is important for our country, the Azerbaijan government paid a great attention and invested a lot of, to the development of non-oil sector, as well as modernizing infrastructure. Another feature of the modern Azerbaijan economy is presence of strong private sector uh, whose share in the international economy is very high. A few years ago, Azerbaijan was mainly a recipient of foreign investment. Now, the domestic investments are very high, and even Azerbaijani companies have started to invest abroad, which is, in my understanding, a very good sign. In conclusion, I would like to highlight that the Caspian Sea region, with its abundant natural resources, process the rich economic potential. Therefore, full and comprehensive realization of its multifaceted potential and strategically important for the economies of neighboring states. In this regard, I do hope that the discussion to be held here later today by our esteemed speakers will encourage 
and further contribute to the development of fruitful and mutual beneficial cooperation among our countries.